All right, so the way that most people have either been taught or they just picked it up on their own as to how to wrap up a cord is they'll just grab it with their hand and then they'll just start wrapping it around where their elbow is, going from the hand down to the bottom where the elbow is and just keep making loops. And they'll just keep making loops until they get to the very end of the cord. All right, so we've gotten to the very end. I'll make one more little loop here. And then a lot of times what people will do is at the very end, they'll plug the male in to the female end and now you got your loops. You can go hang this up on a hook on your wall somewhere, and then it just stays there until you need to use it again. But the problem with doing it this way is you've got so many loops, and when you're just winding it up, it's just kind of alternating or just going in a random pattern. And then when you go to use it again, say weeks, months, or maybe even a year or so later, when you go to use it again and you go to stretch it out, it's gonna be a big jumbled up mess. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways. All of them are gonna be better than just wrapping it around your arm. And they're gonna range from fastest all the way up to what I consider to be the best way of wrapping up these cords to make sure that when you go to unwrap them, you're not gonna have any issues at all. All right, so this first way that I'm gonna show you is definitely going to be the fastest way. It is also gonna be better for when you go to unwrap it. And what I'm gonna do is I've got my cord all the way spread out, but I've got both ends here. So I've got it doubled back. And what I do is I take those two ends and I just plug them together like so. But once I've got those plugged together, I just take my hand, my thumb, up into the cord like so. And then once I've got it there, I'm gonna take my other hand and I'm just gonna grab that cord about that distance right there, not too far. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that, wrapping all the way up. Some people will call this a figure eight. And then once I've got about two to three feet of cord left to be wrapped up, I'll stop right there. I'll grab that last loop, still holding up here at the top, and I'll just start wrapping it around that extension cord like so. Once I get it to where it's pretty short, then I'll just take it, run it through the top loop of where all of my loops are, run it right through there, and then just pull it up like that. And now it's all wrapped up. I've got a nice little handle here. You can carry it around this way or you can hang it up this way. And then when I wanna go and use this again, I'll just take that loop I'll pull it through all the loops of the rest of the cord, and then I'll just unwind that two or three feet of wire that we wrapped around it there at the end. All right, so I've got my about three feet of cord over here. I've got the rest of my cord that's still wrapped up over here. I'm just gonna hold on to this end, throw this end, and hopefully we should be able to get better results than we did just by wrapping it around our arm. And as you can see, it went out there pretty straight. There's a little bit of looping going on, but we don't have any knots, we don't have any entanglements. And so then all I need to do is unplug the cord from itself and then it's ready to be used. Now, is this a guaranteed way of never having any tangles in it? No, this is just the fastest way to get your cord wrapped up in a nice convenient way of having a hook on it. But a lot of times when you do go to unravel it, you will get better results than just wrapping it around your arm, but it's certainly not my favorite way. All right, so this next way, I got my cords doubled up. There's the male end and the female end. I've got them just sitting next to each other. I don't personally plug them in. And then I've got it stretched out all the way down the driveway here. And once we get to this end right here, this is showing us that this is the middle of the cord. Now, some people will recommend using a marker or something to mark this so that you don't have to constantly look for it, but you're gonna have to double up your cord anyway, and it's really not that hard to find where the center of the cord is once you get it stretched out. All right, so we have the middle of the entire cord right here. It's making a little bit of a loop or a lasso. So then with our other hand, we're gonna grab that extension cord and we're gonna force it through that loop or that little lasso there to basically make another loop. So then all we're gonna do, this is super easy, we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna put it through that loop, grab the extension cord, pull it through the loop, and we're gonna make another loop. Then we're gonna do it again. Reach through that loop, grab the extension cord, pull it through that loop, and make another loop. And we're just gonna keep doing this to where we reach through the loops and make another loop about equal size. And so we just keep doing that over and over again, reaching through the loop, making another loop. Reaching through the loop, making another loop. And we're just gonna do this all the way until we get to the end of the cord. All right, so now we are to the end of the cord. We've got our two ends here. And this is super easy to do. There's multiple ways you could do it. For me personally, I just wrap it in through the loop and then wrap it back through the loop that I just made going through that loop and then just tighten it down. And now it's nice and tight. 
And so ultimately, this is what we're pretty much going to end up with. A lot of people refer to this as daisy chaining or a ladder technique, and you can kind of see why. They kind of look like chains. And again, for reference, this is a 50 foot cord. So of course, the longer the cord, the longer this is going to be. And a lot of people are probably looking at this going, where am I going to put that giant length that's almost as tall as he is? Well, the thing is with this technique, you can do whatever you want with this and it's not going to change its makeup. You can wrap it over like this. You can even wrap it over again. You can jumble it all up, put it into a box and just leave it that way for as long as you want. And then when you want to use it again, you just pull it out, you let it drop to the ground and then we'll just undo that little knot we made with those male and female plugs, undo those loops all I have to do now is just let it undo itself. It's just gonna undo each rung as far down as I want it to all on its own. So there will be no tangling mess whatsoever. Now, another nice thing about this is I can stop right there. I still have some more that I could go, but say I only need like 15 or 20 foot of cord. I can take one end, go plug it into whatever I'm plugging it into, take the other end, plug it into the house, leave the rest of it the way that it was all daisy chained up. And then when I want to go and wrap it all up again, all I have to do is start at the last daisy chain that's there and then just pull through the loops just like I did before. But if I want to continue and unravel it all the way, I just keep going down, just pull up on it like that. And those loops will just keep coming undone. So really super easy way to do it. You'll never have any tangles whatsoever. And again, it's really nice. You can just jumble it up, throw it wherever you want. You know it's not gonna get tangled up and you can also use as much wire as you want and still keep the remaining portion of what you don't wanna use all in one place. So this was one of my favorite ways of going about wrapping up a cord due to all those factors, especially knowing for sure that I'm not gonna have a tangled up mess ever, but it's still not my favorite way of doing it. And once I show you this next method, I think you'll see why. All right, so for this next method, I've got my cord strung all the way out across the driveway in one single cord. I don't have it doubled up like I did with the other ones. So this next method, when I'm done with it, it's gonna look somewhat similar to the way it looks when we just wrap it around our arms like I showed you we shouldn't be doing in the very beginning of the video. But there's a very specific way of doing this and it's gonna have extremely different results. And it's something that a lot of people use in the entertainment industry. A lot of people on film sets, at concerts, this is how they'll wrap up their cords because they know when they set it on the ground, as long as you pull that cord out or if you throw it out, it is never going to tangle up, it is never going to get knotted up, and they don't have to worry about any of those issues. All right, so the way to do this is I'm just going to hold one of my ends of my cords. It doesn't matter which end. This, for instance, is the male end, but it can be the female end as well. So I'm just going to hold it with one hand. I'm going to take my other hand. I'm going to grab the cord over the cord like so with this hand, and I'm going to make a loop like so. And you can decide what size of loop you want. It doesn't really matter how big it is, whichever size you decide. All right, so for with this next loop, instead of grabbing over like I did on the last one, instead of grabbing it with the top of my hand facing the sky, I'm going to flip my hand to where it's under, to where the palms of my hand are facing the sky, and I'm just going to grab that loop, and I'm just going to make another loop on top like that. Then for the next one, I go over, make another normal loop like so, and then for the next one, I go under, and as I'm pulling up, I'm twisting my hand to where it's then making that loop, and holding it like this. And I'm just gonna repeat this until I get to the end of my cord. All right, so now I've reached the end of my cord. As you saw, I was going over, under, and by alternating between going over, under, over, under, what that's gonna do is it's feeding the wire in opposite directions as it's getting laid on top of each other. So it's gonna be virtually impossible for it to get tangled up when you go to store it. But when you do this method, it is super important that you use something to hold it just the way that it is. You don't wanna just go hang it up on a shelf. You don't want these loops to be coming undone, accidentally bumping into them and some of the loops come undone. And so what I recommend for that is some people will use duct tape or electrical tape. That is an option in order to hold this together. But if you leave it for any amount of time and it gets hot, it's gonna get sticky. It's gonna leave some of that adhesive on the cord. It's just not gonna be fun to deal with. So what I like to use, I use some of these Velcro straps, but it just wraps around the cord like so. You just wrap it to itself. And now it's all held together. This particular one has a hole on it to where you can hang it up on a peg or a screw so that it's just hanging up where you want it to. Or since it's being held together, you of course can just put it through 
the loop like you normally would. So these Velcro straps are an awesome option, but another device that I like to use in order to hold these together are these right here. These are made of plastic, they've got a spring in them, and they also basically ratchet up. The tighter you make it, it ratchets up to hold it nice and tight. It's nice and tight, it's holding those cords in place. You got a nice handle here. This also has a hole in it, so you can hang it up on a peg if you want, or again, you can just hang it up using the loop of the cord. And really quickly before I show you the results of throwing this cord out, so of course, like always, I'll have links for all of these cable wraps along with the extension cord and some other extension cords that I do highly recommend. I'll have links for all of this down in the description down below so you can check them out for yourself. But for the moment you've all been waiting for to see how well this unravels, when we wanna go and do that, we'll just take whatever cable wrap we've got on our extension cord, we'll just take that off, locate where I put these two ends together, pull those apart, and then I can take either end of my extension cord, whether it's the male end or the female end. It really does not matter because it's gonna come undone the exact same way. So again, I'm just gonna hold this end over here. I'm gonna take this end and I'm just gonna chuck it down my driveway and you should see that there's not gonna be any tangles in it. And as you can see, it is completely straight, no tangles whatsoever. And I can guarantee that if you end up starting to do it this way, you will never ever get another tangle in your extension cord again. This is just by far, in my opinion, the easiest and the best way to go about wrapping up your extension cords. But let me know down in the comment section which way you think works the best or which ways you've tried in the past or maybe which ones you're gonna try here in the future. Now, if you found value in this video, then you'll probably definitely find value in this video right over here, where I go over some things that not every homeowner knows about, but probably should. If this is of interest to you, all you gotta do is click on it and it'll take you directly to that video. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and interesting. And if you did, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button right down below. And of course, if you have any questions or comments still, you can leave those down in the comment section. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.